everybody let's drive slightly differently today and also yeah I'm still wearing black uh, still feel sad about India but you know I, I, I'm more or less over it as well uh, just gotta accept the fact um, but we're not talking about India we're not talking about my the different route that I'm taking today we want to talk quickly because there were only really two games except the Roma in the Coppa Italia which at this time I don't even know the results but I assume given the opponent that Roma uh, moved on anyway uh, the big the big game was the bigger game was Manchester City against uh, Wolves because it's a top of the table clash and then of course there was um, Real Sociedad against Espanyol which was kind of a mid-table and um, the winner puts themselves in a good slash better position uh, of advancing uh, of getting a Europa League spot which at the moment is taken out of us in Getafe and I would think uh, given the pedigree of both these teams although Espanyol is not the huge team that maybe uh, the uh, second team in Madrid is Atletico uh, but given the pedigree of those two you would uh, think that they would both um, feel that they deserve to be in the Europa League uh, kind of a weird traffic city situation because the bicyclist is all the way in the center anyway uh, let's start it there because it was the, in a way the more fun game. Real Sociedad of course coming off the win against Real Madrid um, and want to capitalize on that, get the momentum going because so far in the season it was not really Real Sociedad season. Um, and yeah, started out uh, storming. Uh, William I think made uh, the first goal within three minutes right off a uh, corner kick. And another uh, corner kick where the ref um, did not see a handball, of course VAR interfered and it uh, was a penalty uh, given and in the seventh minute uh, Real Sociedad was up, was up 2-0. Uh, tried to make it more but right around the 25th or so uh, Espanyol took over and then it was suddenly only Espanyol who got um, the cut the lead in half, uh, I think right around some 35th roughly, uh, cut the lead in half and even got the equalizer after a very curious situation where uh, poor defending Espanyol striker gets a clear shot but hits the bar and then it comes off the, uh, I think it was a header, no it was a shot, kind of he tried to, um, it was not a powerful shot just moved it in the ball. Uh, came off the bar uh, and Llorente wanted to clear it and it went into the own net. Kind of weird. Uh, and for, if you're a Real Sociedad fan, you might have felt bad because you know you had a 2 0 lead, it seemed all clear, and then you let Espanyol, who were actually playing in the red third jerseys. Uh, which I personally think is a weird choice for Espanyol overall, but um, they actually looked quite, they look nice, I gotta say. Um, and yes, I have been looking at a Espanyol jersey, because I think I want to have an Espanyol jersey. I'm just not sure if I really want to have this one, uh, but that's the one I can get for now. It's a Puma jersey and I actually, the, the Kelma jerseys that they have now, I like actually a teeny bit better. So that's why I'm still hesitant. Also the price, I think, is a little bit too high. Um, my relationship with es es it's not that I'm a huge Espanyol fan, but honestly, uh, when I visited Barcelona, I did this a lot in, from 99 to 2000, 2000, 2000 there. I was a lot in 2002. I spent a lot of time in Barcelona since my brother spent a lot of time there and I gotta say Espanyol is non-existent there uh, if you 
you go anywhere, you have to really look hard to find an Espanol uh, scarf, let alone a jersey and so on. And in a way that always bothered me a little and I felt actually, you know, Espanol, there is something charming about them. And yes, they have the problem that they're called Espanol and yes, uh, they catalanized the spelling, which <laughs> seriously doesn't make you a more Catalan team. They are really trying to capitalize on that a little bit. But yeah, it's kind of the also right. I, all, I actually think that Real Madrid has probably more fans in Barcelona than Espanyol does. And of all those reasons, I find Espanyol kind of, it's the underdog, but I like them. And at the time, they even had a commercial with a little parrot as a mascot. I don't think they have that anymore. It just seemed all kind of a little bit, you know, they are the nice little, almost inoffensive team from uh, from Barcelona. <laughs> Although Barca fans might disagree, of course, Barca is the team that everyone is talking about. I mean, but uh, there is another team there, and that should be honored. I personally feel. Anyway, um, so the game then kind of proceeded with Real Sociedad actually really wanting to uh, get something going, and they were then the better team and got the winner again by Villian. Um, make it 3-2. Uh, they had a player then sent off. Actually, a Espanol player should, should have been sent off in the first half for uh, putting hand in the face of a uh, Sociedad player. Uh, and with the sand sending off, Espanol tried again and again, but um, couldn't finish the job. And it ended with a 3-2 win for San Sebastian, who is now, I think, two points behind Getafe. And Espanol is sinking, unfortunately. I think two months ago they were still top of the table, near the top of the table, and now it's going a little bit downhill. I hope uh, fortunes can turn around, which leads us to the Premier League. And there, of course, we had the. Uh, Manchester City trying to get a result to stay at the heels of Liverpool and boy did they emphatically do so. Uh, tenth minute, you know, Wolves is a very um, nasty opponent in a way because they are a team that is not, you know, mid-table team that can um, get results from the big boys. Um, as proven in the FA Cup against Liverpool, but don't count that because Liverpool was playing with a second string team. Uh, the weird thing is, it was pointed out yesterday, whenever Wolves play with golden pants, they actually won and get some uh, nice results. So I actually was hoping that they play in golden pants too, all golden. No, they play in their regular gold black, which is the more traditional, but you know, you might have a lucky kit there and you're not using it. Anyway, 10th minute, uh, Sané passes through um, and Gabriel Jesus puts it in the net, 1-0 and for me that basically decided the, the game. Uh, if it needed any more uh, convincing that this is not gonna go City's, uh, that this is not gonna go Wolves way, it was when the red card came. Um, it didn't seem as vicious, I think it was the 19th minute, it didn't seem vicious at first, but it's a clear red card. And that basically killed the game. I think I watched up until that point. I didn't need to see more because I didn't feel the suspense is coming. Yes, Gabriel Jesus. Ah, Gabriel. Yeah, Gabriel Jesus. Uh, got, uh, made another penalty goal and then uh, on goal from the uh, coming off of the Bruyne cross into the box. Made it 3-0 uh, and we have again a four point lead for Liverpool instead of a seven point lead or six point lead however this game might have ended and yeah City they had some trouble I think they're catching fire again and might become very dangerous I think you know it's this type where Liverpool now needs to get a few scrappy wins uh, in order to get the momentum going again uh, City looked good uh, City really looked think this title race I thought yesterday uh, galvanizes me that I actually want to watch the Premier League more than almost any other league which is funny because to me Premier League was always the number three of the big and now um, it's at least one B it's at least one B I have to see how it goes when Serie A starts this weekend again anyway 
that's about it for today. Um, let me know what you thought about those two games. Uh, the one in Spain I think was fun. The one in England, eh, not so much. Uh, but uh, City is impressive. Uh, you gotta give it to that. But I rather watch competitive games, so for that reason the other one was a little bit more interesting. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.